going on YouTube? Gias Nora here. Happy Thanksgiving. In this video we're going to do a debunking of a apparent jailbreak for 12.1 and 12.1.1 and so on. This video is brought to you by PDF Element by Wondershare which lets you quickly edit, annotate and convert PDFs on your Mac. Check the program out in the link below. So this so-called jailbreak has been brought to my attention by a lot of people on Twitter and it's created by this account in here called Microsnake who posted a link saying quote new link for iOS 12 to iOS 12.0.1 jailbreak semi untethered all 64 4-bit devices and he says that this is the beta 1 and posted a Google Drive link which pretty much downloads an IPA. Now I've been tagged by some people including Fire in here who says quote FCE 365 verify this please I'm not going to install this on my daily driver. Now I do not blame him for not trusting this guy in here Micro Snake, because this guy actually popped out of the blue and he pretty much started saying that he has a jailbreak he posted a video demo in which he shows iOS 12.1.1 jailbreak being achieved on an iPhone 8 and he pretty much shows some CDI in there. Then he posted this uh, picture in here of a apparent source code of something and after a little bit of research I found out it's a sync wake which is pretty much an exploit for the iOS 11.1.2 and lower by Ian Beer. So yeah, he actually was listing this function in here. I think I marked it. Yes, this one here, uh, which is pretty much send callout message containing the uh, Mac port limits and limit zero. And you can see here that it's pretty much the same thing. He does have some additional stuff in there, but I think it's just spaghetti code at this point. He even contacted Tweakbox to host their jailbreak utility on the uh, Tweakbox website so that there is no need for a computer. So I decided to download this IPA in here since a lot of people ask me what the hell it is because jailbreaks do not appear overnight and neither do jailbreak developers who are capable of doing that. So if you take a look in here this is the content of the uh, IPA that you're going to download which is pretty much called the uh, Micro Snake Jailbreak apparently. When you open the jailbreak.app in here, it's going to contain a few things and some of them actually caught my attention and one of them is the frameworks folder containing all the Swift dynamic link libraries in here which pretty much hint away the fact that this has been written in Swift and then of course you have the MB circular progress bar and ghost typewriter. Now I think both of these are CocoaPods which means they are plugins you can plug into your code and use them and pretty much frameworks that you can use for various stuff and in this case it looks to be the circular progress bar which is quite ubiquitous in some applications. So just a CocoaPod nothing special. Now if you go ahead and take the uh, binary and dump it in a disassembler and in my case it's going to be the hopper disassembler you can see that the jailbreak button in here which is pretty much the button that the application apparently has doesn't have a lot of code logic. So after messing a little bit with the application and the uh, disassembly in here in Hopper I realized that everything this button does is to increase that progress bar all the way up to 100% and then it will cancel the application. Nothing more. There is no exploit in this. Not even the async wake one from the uh, iOS 11.1.2 that he was pretty much flexing on Twitter. There is no exploit whatsoever. There's the progress bar ring in here, set progress bar and so on. These all have something to do with that uh, circular progress bar cocoa pod and it's pretty much handling the logic for increasing that progress bar. Nothing more, nothing less. None of these functions in here have have anything to do with any exploit. So yes, this is definitely fake, because otherwise this wouldn't have been a debunking video. But yes, this goes to show that fake jailbreaks are still made even in 2018 for some bizarre reason, and a lot of people tend to believe them, but of course there are people who are skeptical, and that's actually a very good thing. You should always be skeptical when it comes to jailbreaks and jailbreak teams. If it's not a security researcher we trust or a team that we trust, then definitely do not believe leave anything until proven that there is a jailbreak available. So in this case with the micro snake or whatever, this link provides nothing but an empty IPA with a user interface that has a circular progress bar and a button. When you press the button, the logic behind the button is to just increase that progress bar to 100%. And then of course the application will either crash or it will exit deliberately. I didn't check but it does exit. So yeah, 
that's pretty much it with this micro snake thingy do not try it do not open it and if you are one of the 20 followers in here please go ahead and unfollow that account it's definitely not worth i really hope this video helped you to pretty much understand what's going on with that fake jailbreak and of course that you should never trust this new jailbreak teams and new jailbreak developers that pop out of the blue until they prove the fact that they are able to jailbreak anything the video that he posted is very likely shot on ios 11 with some tweaks probably so no it's not ios 12.1.1 not 12.1 not even 12 that ipa wouldn't do anything so yeah, thank you for watching i'm geosnow until the next time stay safe and peace out